Hi friends, this is Rakesh from Let's Make Learning Simple channel. So now we are going to see what is tax, why we need to pay tax and what are the ways to reduce the tax. So before going to that, so I need to tell us uh, a scenario. Many of my friends asked me, uh, the, said me that they are paying much tax to the government from their salary. So they asked me whether is there any way to reduce your tax. I told about many schemes like ATC, ATCC. So by using those schemes, they are now they are trying they have reduced their tax from some person to some person. So that person is savings to them. So we will talk more about the tax savings schemes in the upcoming videos. For now, just we will consider what is the tax. So and why we need to pay tax. So and the one one thing I need to convey is till 2016, I too have paid much tax to the government then i have researched what is a tax and what are the ways to reduce it tax. that's why i'm try, uh, trying to share the things that i have researched so this video might this next set of videos might be helpful for those who have joined in a company and they're and they're paying a much tax to the government so first we'll see what is a tax tax is uh, amount paid to the government either it can be form of income or it can be form of uh, the cost that we the product that we buy from the sellers so here the income the this income so tax is directly divided into two types direct tax and indirect tax so whatever that we are paying to the government via salary is a direct tax so it's the salary income from home property so if suppose if you are owning a own house and if you are getting uh, rent for that house and also you are getting some lease amount for that house so you need to pay some part of amount some part of that uh, amount to the government as a tax so that too falls under uh, direct tax and then profit of business some so suppose if you are running some business so for if you get some profit then also you need to pay some part of that profit to the government as a tax and then is a capital case if suppose if you are uh, doing stock market and if you are investing in mutual funds and if suppose if you are selling those in a year so if you get any profit you need to pay some amount of profit to the government these all things fall under direct tax and then comes the indirect tax if suppose if you buy any product for example if you are buying uh, soap so if suppose the cost of the product is 30 rupees the soap cost is 30 rupees that 30 rupees includes all these tax, VAT, service tax, SS duty, and uh, education etc. Currently, the government, what the government did is they got all those things under a single category called GSA, government and service tax. So we'll talk more about that in the upcoming videos. For now, just consider tax is some contribution from our side to the government for the development of a country. So we need to pay tax, but there are some ways to reduce the tax that we are trying to pay to the government. So in the in the upcoming videos. We will see how to reduce those tax. So at the end of this video, you will see channel icon here. Please click on that for subscribing channel. Thanks for guys. Once again.